Blue Note 17 year old single barrel versus a George Dickel 17 year single barrel store pick. How different can they be? Let's find out on the Mash and Drum. What's up folks, I am Jason C from the Mash and Drum and today we're going to learn about Blue Note bourbon a bit and taste through this 17 year single barrel bourbon. I'm not, I'm not sure it's 17 years. Do you think it's 17? Something's telling me it's 17 years. Oh, there's the big, there's the big 17. I thought I missed it. We will also be comparing it to this George Dickel Tennessee single barrel selection. It may say 15 years on the front, but this bad boy was barreled in January of 2004, making it 17 years old as well. One is sourced, one is from the source, one is 70 bucks, the other is 175 bucks. Let's compare. Blue Note Bourbon was based in Memphis, Tennessee, has a strong connection to the music scene in and around Tennessee. Blue Notes were born in the 1920s on the streets of Memphis, Tennessee, and they have since found their way into almost every form of music. Historically, they are twangy notes that give a blue song its edge, providing personality, spirit, and some soul. Blue Note Bourbon is blended by Big River Distilling out of Memphis, Tennessee, who seem to be ahead of everyone else in sourcing some amazing Tennessee bourbon. Because of that, they have a nine-year-old, 93-proof, two mash bill, small batch Tennessee bourbon for only about 55 bucks. They've also released their budget 93-proof, three-year-old Blue Note Juke Joint Kentucky bourbon, which celebrates their Memphis ties for only 30 bucks. All of them are non-chill filtered. Now today we are highlighting their 17 year single barrel Tennessee straight bourbon whiskey. It's barrel proof, it's unfiltered. Mash bill of 84 corn, eight rye, eight malted barley. It's George Dickel <laughs> sourced. So let's pour it here. Uh, so before we try it, this one is barrel number 12908. Uh, this one is only 94.8 proof at barrel strength. So kind of a lower end uh, barrel proof, but again, non chill filtered. Let's see how it is, here we go. Oh man, the nose on this is ridiculous. <laughs> Even at a 94 proofer. I mean, there's just the, you know, that, that candied orange note that I love to get from George Dickel. A lot of candied orange, chocolate. There's like a blackberry, blueberry thing going on. A lot of dark fruits. God, it smells like a, some kind of combination of like an apple, cherry, orange, like blackberry, like candle. <laughs> it's, it's so strong coming out of the glass. It's kind of overlaid with a lot of strong vanillas and that oak characteristic. So this is the amazing thing about this bottle. Any of you guys out there that are scared of that George Dickel minera uh, minerality, I really can't find it in here. That's the amazing thing about this. There might be the slightest little tinge of it, but I mean, it's so sweet and the flavors are so robust and so strong. The chocolate, the apple, the cherry, the blackberry, the rich, rich, dark, rich vanillas. And then you got some just beautiful sweet oak there, you know, being 17 years old. It's very sweet, extremely desserty. I mean, you could probably pick any pie you want and depending on your nose and your palate, you could probably pick out just a multitude of different flavors and scents coming out of here. But yeah, I mean, the ones that I mentioned, you got some cinnamon in there too. It's just so sweet and very, very inviting. All right, let's go for a sip, here we go. Oh my God. This is the ultimate butter pecan. It tastes like straight up butter pecan ice cream, guys. Just butter, like straight butter pecan ice cream. Maybe with some chocolate chips in there. 
But then all the fruit comes in right in the mid palate, the candied orange, the apple, the, you know, the blackberry or the blueberry, one of those like, like a, just a dark, dark berry, like a fruit sweet berry note. Man, you feel some nice pepperiness from it too. Even, you know, you know, it's only 94, I mean, say it's 94.8, but call it 95. Even a 95 proof, it's extremely oily, very viscous. And I, I'm not getting, it's crazy. I'm not get, really getting any of that George Dickel minerality at all. I mean, it's not even present really, you know, to me. You could probably fool someone pretty good with this one. Let's go for another sip. I can't get over the the, the butter pecan van, vanilla chocolate chip ice cream note that I'm getting here. You know, top that with some dark berries and fruits. It's like a freaking sundae in a glass. That's really, it's ridiculous. It's It's got like both light and dark flavors, which I love in a, in a bourbon. You know, when you kind of pick up those fruity notes, those fruity characteristics, but at the same time, there's some dark, there's some richness in there, the rich sweet oak, the little bit of chocolate. There's definitely some cinnamon right in the background as well too. Maybe just like a tinge of a, like a light coffee as well. This is ridiculous. This is probably, well, we'll get into the final breakdown later, but. Even for a 95 proof of the finish on this, it stays with you, but more in flavor than proof. The flavor just kind of hangs on, it leaves a little lingering spice there. I think you get more of the cinnamon just hanging out. Damn, that's good. What the hell? And then the, the butter pecan, the butter pecan is just hanging out, not going anywhere. My goodness gracious. Rich caramels all wrapped in there. Yeah, it's like a butter pecan, caramel swirl, chocolate chip, fruit on top, sundae. <laughs> if, that, if that's enough of a desserty flavor profile for you. This is, this is incredible. So now we're gonna compare it to the George Dickel 15 year single barrel that I have, but it's actually a 17 year and we're gonna see how they actually match up. Pour in some Dickel. All right, so I wanna thank uh, Trev Wilson, the bourbon wrench for uh, grabbing me this bottle. Thanks Trev, appreciate it. If anyone has not checked out Trev over at the bourbon wrench, please do. Uh, great channel on YouTube. All right, so this comes in at 52.3% ABV. So that is 104.6. So right almost at that 105 mark. Uh, which is a nice proof point for George Dickel whiskey, especially something this old. Now, the label does say 15, but this is a 17-year-old uh, George Dickel product because uh, it was barreled on January 2004. So it's also even, you know, a few months older than that. So do the math. All right, so let's see. We got from the source, and then we got Blue Note, who, uh, you know, sourced it from George Dickel. And so let's see how these differences come out here. So I'm, I'm, I've been really curious to do this uh, comparison. It's insane. So Blue Note has somehow found barrels that do not really contain the George Dickel minerality, whereas this one does have it. But it still has those rich candied orange notes that I'm getting in the Blue Note. The thing that's missing though Man, the Blue Note, yeah, has like that, this dark, uh, dark, like, you know, dark fruit flavor that I'm not really getting in this pick. This pick is more just rich, sweet oak and a lot of rich caramel vanillas, vanilla frosting. I mean, this is the first pour, so let me let it open up a little bit. So when I first tried this one, my single barrel, if you guys remember back, um, this was a real surprise, you know, big hidden gem that I thought was really great for the price. I mean, you're getting a 15 year old single barrel for about 60 bucks. This one was about 17 years. I think it was about $70 for this, which is still a freaking steal. Yeah, this is, this is a little bit more on the oak forward uh, part of the equation. A little bit more sweet oak, a lot of candied orange, a ton of vanilla and caramel sweetness. All right, let's sip this one here. That's crazy. This one actually drinks less like a, a, a lower proof offering than this does. Man. Yeah, this is just rich, sweet oak, chocolate. It's not bringing the fruit flavors that I'm getting in the Blue Note. It's also not bringing that butter pecan note that I'm loving in the Blue Note as well. 
But man, this is, you get the sweet oak, you get the chocolate, a little bit of that, you know, coffee espresso note is coming through a little bit on this one too. The candied orange is there, the vanilla. Now, I, I'm not sure, I think these 15 year old single barrels are chill filtered. So I feel like I'm getting more viscosity actually out of the blue note, even at a lower proof. Let's go for another sip. Man, the more I sip this, the oakier it's getting. That oak is really starting to come to the forefront. All right, let's go to the blue note. It's like night and day. I mean, when you come off this, more of those fruit notes come out. I mean, it's just a, just a, uh, like an onslaught of fruit flavors. And then on top of that, the, the vanilla, the butter pecan ice cream, this, both of these, which are, you know, Tennessee whiskey, George Dickel, Tennessee products are probably one of my two favorite selections I've had this year. So. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go, since I've already done a full review on this one, let's do a final breakdown on the Blue Note 17. All right, so for final breakdown, price on this MSRP, we're looking at 175 bucks. Secondary market value, I've seen these as high as 275 to 300, especially if the proof is a little bit higher than this one is. Uh, availability, as we talked about, it is limited. There's probably not too many of these, but when they did their first launch of this, there was a good amount of bottles out there. I know Sealbox.com had some. Uh, I think there were some picks going on, you know, going around with the 17 year age statement. So being that they got in a little bit early on sourcing some of this Tennessee whiskey, I'm hoping to see more of this as we, as we go along. Remember Blue Note overall is in about 15 states. You can go to their website and check out and see where their exact availability is. But if this seemed interesting to you, you know, definitely check on Sealbox periodically and check in those states around you if they're near, if you're interested. All right. So for value now, value is tough on this because. I could say this is a good value, but then you have it next to this one. The George Dickel Tennessee single barrels are, you know, this is, this was $70 and it's 17 years old. I mean, what the hell? There's not really many values out there, anything like that. It's just crazy. Um, so this is probably the ultimate value, but this is also a completely different whiskey than this. So in terms of value, I would think of it like this. It's $10 for every year that it was aged. It's something that the old Fitzgerald Ball and Bond decanters, the way they price theirs over at Heaven Hill, it's usually about, you know, 10 bucks for every year. It's, uh, you know, it's age. You don't get the fancy bottle like you, like you do with the old Fitz, but I just think the value is even. I think it's, it's where it should be. How much would I pay for this? This is damn good. Um, if this was about 200, I'd pay for it. I don't think I would go higher than that. So I think 200 would probably be my, uh, that would, that would be my ceiling, 200 bucks. Do I recommend? Guys, this, this may be my biggest surprise of the year, uh, is this 17 year old Blue Note. Everything about this makes you think it's Dickel, it's mineral, it's a Flintstone vitamin bomb, it's oaky and, and musty. Nope, no, that is not the case here. It is very, very fruit forward, probably the most fruity characteristics that I've ever gotten out of a, uh, out of a you know, George Dickel, Tennessee whiskey. Absolutely unbelievable uh, stuff. I mean, these barrels, wherever they got them, whatever they picked, they're absolutely stellar. Uh, the viscosity of it, the even for a 95 proofer is amazing. Perfect amount of sweet oak. I mean, it, it, it's hard to argue. This is, this is easily has become one of my top bourbons that I've tried this year. It's absolutely fantastic. I, if you guys see this or have a chance to get this, I could not recommend it enough. If you're afraid of it being a George Dickel Tennessee whiskey, do not because those flavors are just not present here. They, they're absolutely amazing. All right, guys, well, hope you enjoyed this review for the Blue Note 17. We compared it to a George Dickel Tennessee whiskey, a 17 year old store pick. Uh, they were actually two pretty different whiskeys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit the subscribe button below. Please hit the like button. If you haven't yet, follow me on Instagram, follow me on Twitter. Let me know if you've had this, what you think of it. Absolutely stellar, stellar bottle. Definitely one of my favorites I've tried this year. And as I always say, it's not about the whiskey, it's the people you share it with. So cheers, and I'll see you next time right here on The Master and Drum. Take care, everybody.